course, you know that the drought is bad out there and May is a month, our rainiest month. May is our rainiest month, but it doesn't look like we're going to see any rain really in the near future. That's going to help us out with the drought and that's bad news. Let's take a look at how much summer rain over the next three months we would need to end the drought. Let's focus first on the San Antonio up through New Braunfels, Seguin, Austin, out toward Hallettsville area. We would need 17 plus inches of rain in the next three months to see drought come to an end across parts of the hill country from Bernie to Fredericksburg out toward Kerrville and then off to the west toward Del Rio, Brackettville, Uvalde, almost 17 and a half inches of rain for the drought to come to an end over the next three months. And for areas southwest of San Antonio from Pleasanton down to the valley out toward Laredo and up toward Eagle Pass, more than 14 inches of rain. Now here's the thing when you factor in probabilities, how is how what's the probability of drought ending this summer? It's less than 2%. Now the summer is typically rainy, uh, typically dry rather, but in order for us to see this kind of rain over the summer, which happens to be uh, hurricane season, we would need tropical rains in order to really help alleviate the drought. And of course, that comes with its own issues when you introduce a tropical storm or a hurricane across the coast as well. So we'll be keeping an eye on things, but I show you this to, to show you it's not good when it comes to the drought. The drought is likely going to worsen over the coming months, and we're likely to see those reservoir levels like Lake Medina continue to go down.